dear students today we are going to discuss about the next uml diagram its object diagram today i will explain how to draw the object diagram for employee management system go to add diagram and select object diagram so once you open that file first you have to add the title for our project so it's object diagram for employee management system you can do that alignment to increase the font size you can add some background colors so in the previous video i explained how to draw the object diagram for a student management system today i will explain one more object diagram for employee management system it will be more helpful to get uh, some better information about object diagram so first i am going to create the object name as r1 that object it's called from a registration class the list of attributes for the r1 object first it start from employee name employee phone number so whatever that information i have used in this diagram just for the sample i have created the next one it's a user name and followed by password it's one of the attribute of r1 object right there are four attributes i have created it start from employee name phone number username and password right the next object once the registration is over we have to log in into the system right so for that l1 it's object and login is the class name so for the login you can use only the username and password to enter into the system right it's only two attributes i am going to use it here once if more than one object is created just you can link between the object with the help of either simple link or a director link or you can use the linked object right so the next object it's mentioned as e1 and the class name is employee profile right now i am going to add some basic information for the employee profile it's a start from the employee id employee name and employee role as a software developer so whatever the information you need to add for your object you can increase the list of attributes or even you can use a list number of attributes it depends upon your project right and next attribute it's the employee phone number followed by employee it's a email that is official email i use it here so the employee profile it's the official profile page it's mentioned here so the official information which is present in the home page the personal information we have to store it in that separate object right now that employee profile it's the next object of our a diagram even you can uh, change the visibility control then and there so as a password should be as always private right the other information we can use it as public or even you can add the protected mode now just i change the password alone
Next, I am going to use the employee personal information. It's my next object that is that is class name, and I have created employee personal information E two as my object name. As a employee personal information, it's a start from the age, gender, address, phone number. email city uh, state country so this kind of information it's essential for the personal information right so it's a start from the age a gender address a phone number email city state and country these the list of information i am going to use as your attributes of e2 object okay now i am going to use most of the cases it's a directed link so we no need to worry about that so which directory it is comes from always it start from the employee profile and link to that other object so the next one it's a department in for short form i have mentioned as a object name as d1 and the department id as a development dev1010 and the department name as a development even you can add few more attributes for the department just i have used only two attributes and the next object as a employee main role is we have to consider the attendance of our employee right so attendance is the next class a1 is our object name attendance it means that we have to log in or log out sign in or sign out right so that that time it's mentioned here this is a very important information we have to consider for the attendance right even all the information we can get it from the employee profile or even with the help of employee id right so all the information it's already exist in that once you log in into the system no need to use the same set of attributes in all the places the next object name it's a leave the type of leave as casual and leave from when you are taking the leave and from to date it's very very important so next we have to always mention the reason for our leave right so this is the four uh, the list of attributes i used to for a leave class and the next object name it's a start from the role of our employee right so job or job department so what kind of role as an employee going to perform right so that information it should be maintained in the employee management system so it's a start from the job id and we have to mention the name of the job right here i mentioned the name of the job as so as i mentioned earlier the name of the department where the employee is working it's a development right so name of the job i mentioned as a development and which project as a employee is working currently the banking system and we have to add few more information related to the project right so who is uh, develop the project and once the development is over we have to test the project the testing date it's one of the important attributes for our job right so once the testing is over 
ओके वी हैव टू मेंशन द द नेम ऑफ द पर्सन हु इज टेस्टेड अवर प्रोजेक्ट राइट सो दिस इंफॉर्मेशन इट्स मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इन अ जॉब क्लास और अ जे वन ऑब्जेक्ट राइट सो इट्स स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द जॉब आईडी जॉब नेम प्रोजेक्ट नेम हु इज डेवलपिंग द प्रोजेक्ट टेस्टिंग द प्रोजेक्ट एंड लॉस्ट हु इज टेस्टेड द प्रोजेक्ट राइट सो द नेक्स्ट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट ऑब्जेक्ट इज वी हैव टू ऑलवेज कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन एज ए एम्प्लॉयी ट्रेनिंग एंड डेवलपमेंट राइट सो वॉट काइंड ऑफ द ट्रेनिंग एज ए एम्प्लॉयी हैज टू टेक अ फोर टू डेवलप द प्रोजेक्ट राइट नाउ वी हैव टू मैंशन द नंबर ऑफ ट्रेनिंग इट्स अटेंडेड बाई द एम्प्लॉयी फॉर एग्जाम्पल I mentioned as the number of training is a three, and we have to mention the name of the uh, the courses or the skill enhancement courses. It's attended by the employee, right? Now, the name of the course. First, I am going to mention the course name as Python. So I have mentioned as the number of uh, training is three, right? so we have to mention the three courses so i start from python next one node js and the course name 3 it's mongo db the next object we have to concentrate on uh, that is a uh, salary right so as a employee uh we have to use the salary details it's one of the important component of employee management system for the salary you can use some different set of attributes like basic pay da hra right you can add few more uh, that is attribute names like uh, the allowances different kind of allowances it will be added to your salary right so for example if it is uh, as a medical allowance or even uh, that the pf it's also part of your salary right so these kind of informations it comes under s1 object right and the next one as a salary it's always we have sometimes we have some deduction right so for that i am going to use the linked object d1 it's my object name and the class name is a deduction so in case if any deduction it's happen in your salary that information which is present in the separate class that class name is a deduction and the type of deduction what's the reason the salary is deducted for example as a late that number of hours it's a uh, two hours for example how much amount it is deducted 2000 and uh, that a uh, date of your a uh, deduction or date of your a uh, late we have to mention that information and followed by who is approved that uh, that is information it's admin so now i am not supposed to connect the employee profile with the deduction so the deduction is always linked with a salary so no need to link the employee profile and deduction right the next one it's a feedback so here as a employee feedback is very very most important part of to improve the uh, that is uh, skills improve the target improve that the uh, a production level so whatever it's involved related to the project it's a feedback of the employee is the important one so the number of uh, uh, meeting goals whether it's a satisfied yes or no time management self improvement and at last i have mentioned as a appraisal score right so such kind of information 
we have to use it whether the particular employee it's eligible to get the appraisal or not so such kind of information we have to calculate it with the help of appraisal score right in all the places once your object is created you should be very careful on the visibility of your each attribute so whatever that information it's either confidential or that information which is not supposed to view by the other user you have to always make it as a private mode right you have to check all the places if anything is missed you have to change it in your diagram right almost i have created all the related objects related to the employee management system it's a start from the registration so once successful registration we can use the username password you can log in into that system that a core part of our entire project is it's a employee profile page or the home page of our employee and as a employee profile page it's a start from the employee personal information and as a employee it belongs to which department and we have to concentrate on the attendance and if as a employee taking any leave or permission or even for example on duty we have to mention that information in the leave class and it's a followed by we have to focus on the salary information and if it is any deduction it's happen in your uh, salary i have mentioned as a separate object and the next one it's a start from the job what kind of role it's performed by the particular employee so that information which we have to present in that class diagram sorry object diagram right so almost i covered all the information related to that object diagram for employee management system i hope this information it's helpful to you all still if you have any queries you can post it in the chat window thank you thanks for watching